about a thousand years ago in Portugal in a small town in a small church. Um, there was a one of the parishioners, a um, Catholic woman, she was struggling in her marriage. She had found out her husband was cheating on her and was quite uh, distraught. And so, uh, and made a bad decision, she sought out the direction or the advice of a sorcerer. Instead of going to her priest, she went to a sorcerer. The sorcerer told her that she'd be able to help her with her marital problem, her marital situation, and her family. Um, but first she said she would needed a, a consecrated host from church. This woman, of course, was distraught, distraught not thinking clearly, and she agreed um, to bring to steal a host from church um, and bring it back to her. So one day at Sunday Mass, um, she received on the tongue or into her mouth and quickly left church and placed the consecrated host, the Eucharist, on in a, in a uh, handkerchief. As she was walking down the street, it began to bleed rather profusely. People in the street began to stop her and ask her if she was okay because she was bleeding. Um, she was embarrassed and ran home all the quicker. She did not go to the sorcerer. She went home, put the cloth and the host in the bottom drawer in her bedroom, in the um, closet there, or the dresser, and cleaned herself up. And later the, her husband came home and they went to sleep that night. She, in the middle of the night, they were both uh, awakened by a awoken, awakened by a bright light shining up out of the dresser drawer there. Um, it, so bright it woke the two of them up. She was, of course, rather startled by this whole thing and decided to tell her husband everything that had happened. The two of them then got down on their knees and prayed together um, throughout the night there before that blessed sacrament, before the host in the dresser there. And come morning time, one of them went and told the local priest what had happened, and he came to collect the host um, from the, the home. And many, of course, this became a... Um, no secret, and the town began to, to hear of this story and to believe in it. And eventually, as time went on, miracles were attributed to this special host, and this special host um, was uh, preserved and reserved there at the church for devotion and for reverence. Um, and up to this very day, people go there to make pilgrimage to this miraculous host. And it's also my understanding each year there is a special procession from the local church to this small home, and the small house was made into a little chapel um, many, many years ago. And so that annual procession back and forth from the chapel, um, once a house, to the church. So that's one little Eucharistic miracle story for our uh, good devotion to our Blessed Sacrament. And also to know of the, um, interestingly in this story, um, of course, it, the Eucharist is also a great strength and a source of great hope um, for married couples.